Hey, good morning. So we're on another roof today. Uh, this is a unique one. Uh, and this shingle in particular is what makes this roof unique. Um, it's a shingle made by Atlas, and it's the one that's got the blue uh, shade line, shadow line in it, also known as the Atlas Pinnacle. Uh, so several months ago, we had a really big windstorm that came through here, and uh, winds up to 85 miles per hour. Uh, we came to the neighborhood, there were a lot of shingles blown off everywhere. We did a lot of patches, spent a lot of time doing it. But unfortunately, insurance companies don't like to pay for wind damage. So it makes it very difficult. They just want you to come out here, throw some patches on, and move on. Uh, so in this neighborhood, there's all these patches everywhere. You can see the difference in the shingles, and it really looks really bad. Uh, especially when you're doing a patch in the middle of the field, it can be really risky to do that. So let's talk about it today. So like I said, we're, this roof actually has the uh, Atlas Pinnacle shingle on it. And that's how, we able to got, that's how we were able to get this roof bought. So this shingle actually is discontinued. Uh, but the insurance company, in this particular case with State Farm, they said, hey, no, this shingle is still available on the market, you have to replace it. So we went ahead, went out, got a shingle, because it was. Actually, the, the brand and the color, they're still available. But what's not available is the exact size. This shingle is actually two and a half inches shorter uh, than what the current shingle is on the market. So being that the case, Atlas says you can't mix your shingles. And the last thing you want to do is mix shingles in the middle of the field and potentially have a leak and have more problems. So after further negotiations with State Farm, we were able to uh, get them to see what we were showing them as far as not replacing the shingle uh, or inserting new shingles into the current shingles because we'd have to cut them we don't cut field shingles. We only cut them on the ridges. If we cut them in the middle, it's not gonna line up, they're not gonna match up, and leaks are gonna happen. So, in this particular case, we're able to show them that the shingle that's on this roof currently is discontinued, and so they went ahead and paid for a brand new roof on this house. Not everyone does that. You gotta know how to do it. You gotta know how to work with the insurance company. You gotta know what information to provide them. But if you have a house that has a roof that was denied, they wouldn't put a new roof on you, give us a call, let us know, maybe we can help you get a brand new roof just like this homeowner.